Hello all, Dominic here again, welcome to another video. I hope you're all okay today and I hope you had a nice weekend as well. Now today's video is going to be another life related video. And this is, a gonna, this is going to be another sort of job related um, video. Just like the one that I did on Tuesday where I talked about a specific interview I went on. But this is actually not going to be about an interview, but it's actually going to be about a particular employer that I got to know and was pretty much told that my CV or resume as I call it in America deserves to be put in the bin. Nobody joke. Yeah, I was actually told this. So this obviously story goes back to uh, late June slash early July 2013. So at this point, um, I had recently left college and I started looking for work. So I did. And at the time, I was looking at different, you know, retailers, different companies. And at the time, I was actually reco uh, recording, um, printing out a lot of CVs. Um, but obviously, at the time, I didn't know that most um, companies were not accepting them anymore. So around that time, I was talking to different retailers, asking if we got any work available. And they just kept telling me the same thing that uh, we have, but you'll have to look online. We don't accept CVs anymore. I said, okay, that's fine, that's fine. And I did this for quite some time at first. And then I, I remember there was this one store. I was looking in town. Uh, I was looking at town at the, I was looking in the shops at this at this point. And what ended up happening was I remember seeing this, this store and I thought, I've never been there before. And originally I thought they sold video games, but they didn't. They actually sold um, uh, board games, uh, such as stuff like Dungeons and Dragons. But they were actually selling um, uh, Warhammer to the work. And I never actually heard I heard about this stuff because I'd never grown up with it. It wasn't anything I ever really played with. I didn't know. So I went in this I went in this this shop one this store one time. I was like curious, like you know what, what all this stuff is and everything. And I remember the, I think he must have been the manager of the store or something. Because he, yeah, he must have been, because he was the only one that actually worked there. <laughs> so he was. And I remember he saw me coming in and he goes, oh, hello. He says, hiya. He says, my name is so-and-so. I'm not going to say the name. Um, I still remember the, the man's name, but I won't. I'm not going to mention it. So he says, oh, hi, hi I'm so-and-so. Um, he says, oh, nice to meet you. I'm, I'm Dominic, by the way. He says, oh, you okay? He says, never seen you, in, never seen you here before. He says, yeah, he says, I've never been in it, but I was sort of curious. And he was telling me about what all, you know, what they were selling and stuff, the whole Warhammer things. And I thought, that seems pretty cool. And at one point, it was something I, I really wanted to get into. I thought, that's pretty cool. Um, but obviously, it was quite, you know, obviously, it was quite pricey and stuff, which is understandable. And I remember, like, talking to some of the people at work that, um, that used to uh, play in there. Uh, but most of the time they didn't really talk that much. I don't know if they were antisocial or just didn't really care. I really don't know. So what ended up happening was I'd go in there at least once a week. I thought this is pretty cool and have a nice little look. And I think at one point I almost I almost bought something there, so I did. But I didn't. I thought I'll see what happens. So I remember one time, um, and I think this was about a couple of weeks after, I was having dinner um, at home. And, um, yeah, I was having dinner with my mother and her boyfriend at, at the time. Um, this is before they got married. So this was a year before they got married. And um, we were just talking about stuff. And I was telling about this, this store that I went into. And they said to me, well, why don't you ask if you've got any work available? And I thought, you know what, I'm going to. So I brought my CV down to see if they had any work available. I went in this store. I went in this day. And he was talking to someone. He was talking to someone, a customer or something. And I thought, okay, I'll, I'll have a look around. And I'll wait until he's finished talking. So once he stopped talking, I thought, I went over to him and said, um, hey, hey um, um, I just wanted to ask um, if there's any work available. I'm just, just curious, he says. I says, no, there's no work available. Um, it turned out they only, they only had manager roles at the time uh, in, in this store. Um, but well, I'll, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, though. And he did it in a weird step, step by step thing. He said to me, well, do you know what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to get your CV off you. I'm going to put it in my diary. Close the diary. Later on, open it. Look at your CV and put it in the bin. Yeah, 
he honestly but he said that to me i was like oh okay and i said okay bye and i almost started to i almost started crying and started getting upset because the fact that's no way to treat anyone who's looking for work and he, he honestly yeah he said those exact words so i'm gonna have a quick look at it and put it put it in the bin and I remember telling my family, and I felt that's that's unfair. That and it is unfair. And after that day, I've never ever been in that store any, and um, ever again. I like I said. So I remember sometimes seeing it, and like screw you. And I know it's not the store's fault. It's the way the staff member dealt with the situation. And it is true. And after almost seven years, I've never ever been in that store. Would I ever go back in there? Absolutely not. Never would go in there. And this is obviously a year before what happened with the interview. So the interview was obviously 2014. This is 2013. And at that point, I did struggle with um, socialising and all that sort of stuff. Unlike nowadays, unlike the last, I'd say, three to four years. At that point, I was, I was very antisocial. I kept myself to myself. And I did struggle with certain situations, so I did. Uh, but I've improved, you know, a lot since then and stuff. But looking at that, looking back at that point, and it's something I don't really look on because why would I? You know what I mean? It's not really something I would think, oh, do you know what? I want to look back on that. No, I wouldn't. Um, but the way the guy handled the situation was not good. And I totally agree with that. Um, and that's how it was. Never went in there afterwards. And I, I remember liking liking that guy. And thought, you know what? He seems like a really, really nice person. But after that moment, I was like, no, no. I'm done with that. And I remember when I joined um, Specialist Autism Services, which is a job club. And I remember this one, um, this one person who was there. And I only ever saw him the one time, and that was it. And he was actually telling a story to us that... He actually dealt with, uh, I think he, he went to a supermarket at the time where he was looking at work. And the person he actually spoke to literally put his CV in the bin. And I remember hearing that and I thought, bloody hell. And I thought, it somewhat reminded me of what happened, you know, with me and stuff. When I went into that retail store and told me, your CV, you know, deserves to be in the bin. And I thought, no. And yeah, it's just you, like, so you don't treat. You don't say that to people. Now, like I said before, this, um, this, um, that 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 guy I dealt with back in twenty thirteen, and the interview I've dealt dealt back in twenty fourteen, I've never actually had any uh, moments like that when looking for work since. And I think that's because of the fact that people are not like that. You know, people might have bad experiences like that, and they think, oh well, all employers are like that. It's not. There's a few bad apples, as you call it, uh, you know what I mean? Not all um, employers are like that. Um, a lot of them might be interested. In, okay, well, if you're interested, apply online, and that's all you do. Um, <coughs> pardon me. Um, so, yeah, you know what I mean? I know people who are looking for work, they might have, they might have had bad, bad... They might have had bad experiences like that, that's not the way it is. Not all, not every single person in employment is like that. You, you know what I mean? So if you've had bad experiences like that, do not let them bother you. You know what I mean? Because the fact there are better people out there that have actually that actually deal with the switch situation a lot better. Usually, usually they might say, oh, is, I might ask, oh, is there any work out there? Or have you got any work going on? Um, you can have a look online, but currently... We've got nothing going on. That's the way you deal with it. Not saying, oh, well, I'll have a look at your CV and then put it in the bin. You don't deal like that. So, yeah, I just wanted to make this video and stuff. Of that. I hope you all found it interesting and stuff. Um, yeah, I definitely want to make more of these in, in the future, so I do. So I just want to say, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, enjoy the rest of your week. Um, Alex will be back on Friday, so he will be. And I will be back on Saturday, so... Thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye.